you, look, you see these lasers? Watch this. You said watch this, hit the corner and die. Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Lucid back again with another video. And in this video, I got another banger for you guys. Woo! Yeah, baby! That's what I've been waiting for. In this video, I made the best Holger 556 class up in Modern Warfare 3. I'm not even gonna over exaggerate. This thing is untouchable. Damage range, phenomenal. Recoil, non-existent. Speed, maximum like it's just all around the best class bruh i feel like there's only one weakness to this class and i'm gonna get into it in a minute which there is a counter to it but honestly this weapon is just disgusting and i feel like it's the best ar in modern warfare 3 let me know your guys thoughts down in the comments what do you think the best ar is in modern warfare 3 me, I feel like it is definitely the Holger 556, bro. I'm not even gonna cap. I feel like a lot of people are gonna try to say the MCW, but honestly, I don't think you've tried the Holger 556 enough to say the MCW. I feel like the MCW might be the second best. I ain't even gonna lie. So, if you guys enjoy the video, don't forget to drop a like and sub if you're new. But not that's over. Let's get into this Holger 556 class setup. Then let's get into the MGB gameplay right after. You guys can copy and paste this if you like. I'm not going to go into extreme detail on all this. But the main thing is I run Demolitionist Vest to get my tactical and lethal back every 25 seconds. So I can constantly have a stem shot throughout the entire game. And I run Covert Sneakers because I don't want loud feet. I run EOD pads so I'm not spammed to death by lethals. And I run the Commando Gloves so I can reload while sprinting. And I run the Ammunition box because i'm always out of bullets but now let's get into the holger 556 attachments for the first attachment i'm running sonic suppressor the reason i run this suppressor is because it keeps me off radar and it has bullet velocity and damage range it makes it to where my bullets connect to my opponents faster and hit harder range honestly it's just the best suppressor in the game and it's just one of the best muzzles in the game but you can run whatever muzzle you'd like or any other suppressor but i feel like this is the best one in my opinion for the second attachment i run the cryo six match the reason I run this barrel is because it gives bullet velocity and range. This is honestly a fire barrel. It gives you more range, which comes in clutch. But the main thing about this barrel is it gives gun kick control and recoil control. So your gun is a laser. This is like one of the main attachments that helps out with this recoil pattern and makes it to where this gun has zero recoil. I mean, literally zero. You will see no kicking. You're just lasering people. In fact, I might show you in the firing range after I go over the attachments to show you how much of a laser this class is. But honestly, it's the best barrel for this gun. I'm not even gonna lie. For the third attachment, I run the FSSV laser. The reason I ran this is because it gives the most speed in the game while also giving a lot of aiming stability. So my gun is a laser. I feel like they need to buff other ADS attachments so they can compete with the laser because I feel like the laser is just very dominant when it comes to the ADS, bruh. But they probably did that for a reason because when you aim down, it shows a laser and allows people to be prepared for you, which kind of sucks, which is why I don't really like lasers, but the laser is just too good not to run. For the fourth attachment, I run the RB Assault Stock. The reason I run this is because it gives recoil control and gun kick control, which helps my gun be extremely accurate and easy to control. And for the fifth and final attachment, I run the DR Hand Stop. The reason I run this is because it gives a lot of speed overall, gives aim walking speed to straight faster, gives ADS speed to aim down faster, gives sprint speed to aim down faster from a sprint, or to pull your weapon down faster from a sprint, and it gives movement speed, which allows you to run faster. It's just one of the best attachments also for speed. But if you guys want, you can take off one of the attachments and slap on a 40 round mag, because as I mentioned before, the only weakness for this gun is that it has 30 bullets, and you're constantly going to be out. If you land every single bullet, then you could kill about three people, four people before you're out of the clip. But honestly, I feel like you have to have a clip in this game. I feel like the 150 health just makes it to where 30 bullets is not enough. And even with 100 health, I feel like 30 bullets is just not enough. That's the only weakness in this gun is just having 30 rounds. Honestly, you could take off any attachment you like and slap on the 40 round mag. But yeah, anyways, let me know your guys' thoughts down in the comments about this class setup and what do you guys want to see me post up on next. But now that's over, let's get into this insane MGB gameplay using this class setup. Alright, man, let's use the Holger 556 and slap. Honestly, I feel like the Holger is the best AR in the game. I'm not even over over exaggerate. And he should have been dead. I feel like there's like hit reg issues in this game, bro. I ain't even gonna cap. Some people, you be sitting here crosshairing and you're not getting any of the bullets detected. And it's not even lag. I don't even know how to describe it or what it is. All right.
Got to fall back and reload. I usually don't run a 30 round mag, but I wanted a class that was faster. They spawn them on both sides? Nope. Hell no. Too much heat. Thought I was going to re-challenge you in the same spot? You're lost, brother. I need to pull out the proximity mines again, bruh. Those things used to get me nukes by covering my back because my teammates don't. Where the enemy's at, though? What the? He was shooting at you! See, that's interstellar. What is it? The hell is that? That's two camos together. It looks like homeboy camo. There it is again. The northern light look from the EMP, bruh. It just looks too great and sounds too great. I always have to take like a pause to look at it and observe it. I'm trying to wait to call out my advance. Wait till I'm at least on like a 15, 20 or something. So I don't have to start playing slow. Because I don't know what the enemies are. Kind of playing passive in corners. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. They are playing me hard right now. Alright, now I gotta call this out. Because they started playing me hard. This is why I kind of don't like 30 rounds, bruh. I say it always runs out of ammo. I don't like Ghost either. And the, I mean, the advanced UAV when it comes to Ghost. Ghost is a sweep, bruh. In this game, instead of a constant. And people with Ghost on be disappearing off the advanced UAV. Nope. Nope. Hell nope. Teammate, get shot. I was, I was about to bait my teammate. I ain't going to lie. Someone else get an EMP or is my EMP going off a second time? I don't know. It'd be weird sometimes. Bruh, the auto mantling it just is very annoying. It should have just been a climb. I don't know why they still added this dumb thing to the game. All it does is get you killed. And then you're trying to climb walls that you should be able to climb. They don't climb. They get stuck. At least I got my MGB even though it almost sold. Look at this. But I, I just don't like the, the hanging mantling thing, bro. It really just be selling a lot of the time. It's not really of a benefit. I'm about to call out my MGB. Holy damn. Look at the score, yo. Damn, chill out, boy. All right, let me call it out. I don't feel like waiting any longer than all of a sudden a bunch of enemies flood me and I don't get to call it in. Woo, that was a close one. Where's MGB? There it is. Let's go. The Holger 556, nasty. Honestly, in my opinion, it's the best AR. What do you guys think? What do you think the best AR is in this game? A lot of people feel like I'm going to say the MCW, but I felt like you haven't tried the Holger 556 if you think it's the MCW. Or haven't used it enough, I should say. But yeah, anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new. Don't forget to slap on the post notification so you miss the latest and greatest videos. And I'll see you later, guys. Peace.